Hey, what's good, YouTube? Name with Mass Collector. Back with another video, just a quick one. Um, some of you might have been watching some of my Back to the Future Eagle Moss build, time to, uh, the Time Machine, DeLorean. And um, I ordered some mods from Mike Lane. And they, sh I ordered them, I think it was on November 1st. And I knew that it was going to take him a while to ship it. You know, he does a lot of make-to-order stuff. Um, he shipped it before Christmas. It arrived to Chicago on Christmas Eve. And I, and that was, you know, uh, December 24th, 2020. I just received it today. And it's February 8th, 2021. Um, I sent Mike an email or a message on Facebook and just said, hey, you know, do you, do you insure your product because when you ship it, because I haven't seen it yet. And he replied back right away. He's like, hey, let's just give it another week or so. And if nothing moves, um, he would replace the order, which I thought was just amazing customer service that he would even offer that, um, replacing the whole order. So this was about $149 um, as far as, you know, uh, for U.S. currency, it was about 256 bucks for this order. So um, just going to finally dig into this thing and see what we got here. Um, I ordered the carpeting for the DeLorean, uh, the license plate, magnetic license plates, and some, and uh, some ties, zip ties stickers and stuff so but I just kind of wanted to unbox it just to kind of give you guys an idea of, of what to expect but I'm just really happy that it showed up finally because I've been kind of holding off on building my uh, DeLorean any more issues until I got some of this stuff so I didn't get too ahead of too far ahead of myself Here we go, we got the, so much fun stuff in here. So first things first, thank you for your order. You get a five star rating from me. Um, Give him a review. Go, you know, I'm definitely going to order more stuff from him as I get um, farther in my build. But here's his Facebook page and his website address as well. And he's pretty much the one of the, the main modders for the the DeLorean items. Oop, got my little gummy bears, gummy strawberries. All right. So, yum yum. Here's what we got. So we have the die cast um, license plates. So for design for the Eagle Moss Back to the Future 1 8 scale. Take a look here. I think there's there's a few different ones in here. Um, so here's the. If you want to prefer it, the plate permanently, you can just stick it on as well. But I'm definitely going to use the magnetic um, option, which you just put the magnet on there on the back end of it. So right here, um, I'll take, unscrew the plate that's on there now, and then you screw in or stick on the, the magnet, and then the plates will just magnetize right to it, and you can just flip them on and off whatever version you want. So here's what we got for the, the plates. 
Oh, these are so badass. So we got two, we got the new stickers to put on the plate. And these are just look, look so cool. So if you compare it to the Eagle Moss version, um, you know, pretty similar. I think Mike's, the, uh, it's a little bit more pronounced on the, on the letters. They stick out more like you would see on an actual license plate. I think it looks really good. It has the, the screw holes in it, which you would be much more realistic on a real license plate. Um, and they're metal as well, so that's cool. And then you have the 2015 version, which is just so sick. Man, that is so awesome. Well done. Um, so neat. And then of course, Parzival. So this is the, uh, the plate from Ready Player One and Parzival's DeLorean. So that was another reason why I wanted to, to pick up this set was for this plate too. And um, I'm actually gonna contact Mike to see if he can make a personal license plate that I have on my truck. If he can do a Wisconsin plate, that would be pretty sick. So these look great. Um, so pumped that these came in, finally. So cool. Put those, oh, get the sticker. Put those back in there for now. Nice little case for them. And we'll put all this stuff back in there. But really excited about these. So that's the die cast license plates. Um, we also got mini cables. So I got three, three bags of white. and one black. So what's recommended by him on his website is um, you should have enough with three of these bags, three sets of white and one set of black to do the whole car um, to make it look as close to the Model A car from the movie as possible. That's what I understand. So, looks like these up here are a little bit shorter to make room for his uh, sticker. But um, I also wanted to get these just so I had those handy. Um, then we got the bonnet and truck carpets. Trunk carpets. I forgot I forgot which um, set I got, but so you get the carpeting that goes right inside the the hood or the uh, the trunk, so to speak. Really nice. Um, and then I have the uh, I bought the optional um, insert here with the tools. So he's got some die cast tools here to stick in there. Wrenches and a hammer and screwdriver, ball peen hammer, some pliers. That's pretty sick. It'll just fit right in there. And then the uh, the carpeting for so this goes underneath on the on the, the floor of the trunk. This goes on top. And then this part here goes on top, which you'll actually see the uh, the crossbar part of the, the trunk on top there behind it. So it's really nice, really nice. 
Uh, this is the first time I've ever bought anything for modding um, from Mike or anybody. So really, really impressed with the quality of this, um, this material. And then last but definitely not least is the carpets for the foot wells and the bulkhead for the inside. So here is definitely the, the top bulkhead areas. Also has the, uh, the issue that this should go with, I believe. I'll pull these off, take a look at them once. So. Really, really nice. You can tell where the chair goes and everything, and it just kind of you just kind of line it up with everything. I'll definitely watch some videos of some other people that have done it already, just to make sure I don't screw anything up. But I will definitely do a video of myself putting it on as well, just to add to my DeLorean build videos. So, yeah, everything looks like it, it showed up that I ordered. Look, everything looks really, really, really good. Quality-wise, man, it looks amazing. I'm just really, really pumped to uh, to start adding some of this stuff to the build that um, I've seen other people do because it just looks like so much fun. All kinds of stuff here. Yeah, so this is for the roof, the inside interior. Cool. Well, thanks for watching the video. Um, appreciate you guys checking it out again, as always. Uh, of course, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. You know, hit the like button if you enjoy the video content. And also, if you want to be notified of new videos when they come out, please hit that bell for notifications. And um, you'll be notified as soon as a new one drops. And, um, you know, again, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Mass Collector out. Bye.